How's it going, people? Kind of silly to be doing another chapter, but I found a new beer and I want to try it out. Yeah, it's Strawberry Harvest Lager. Oh, it's from Alberta Springs, Alberta Brewing, Louisiana. And I just needed to know what a strawberry lager tastes like. If I can open this fucker. There we go. Strawberry lager, huh? Well, I didn't expect that color. Somehow I thought it would be pink or something. Cheers. I might take some of this camping. <laughs> oh, where am I? Ah, my little bookmark there. I'm on section 53 of the DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Algernon, wait, uh, to Algernon Sidney Gilbert in Kirtland, Ohio, June 1831. The prophet had inquired of the Lord as to Gilbert's work and appointment in the church. Gilbert, to be ordained an elder. Also, to be an agent unto the church as the bishop shall appoint. All right. One. Behold, I say unto you, my servant, Sidney Gilbert, that I have heard your prayers, and you have called upon me that it should be made known unto you of the Lord your God concerning your calling and election in the church, which I, the Lord, have raised up in these last days. See, we're still in the last days. We've been in the last days since, well, long before 1831. I think John the Baptist was telling people that it was going to be, the end was nigh, you know. Curtain was about to come down. It's nigh in geological time, as in between now and the next billion years. All right. One. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, two. Two. Behold, I, the Lord who was crucified for the sins of the world, give unto you a commandment that you shall forsake the world. So he did this for the world, but he wants you to forsake the world, which is where we all live. And the only reality I'm aware of is the one we live in. But apparently there's a, something magical beyond the veil. I have not been permi permitted to peek beyond the veil, so I don't know about that. I guess I'm meant to be an infidel. Three, take upon mine ordination, even that of an elder, to preach faith and repentance and remission of sins, according to my word, and the reception of the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands. It sounds creepy. and also to be an agent unto this church in the place which shall be appointed by the bishop according to the commandments which shall be given hereafter. Tasty, but not too sweet, just a hint. 
five. And again, verily, I say unto you, you shall take your journey with my servant, Joseph Smith, Jr., and Sidney Richton. So this can be like two Sidneys there. I guess just call him Algy instead. <laughs> Short for Algernon. Uh, six. Behold, these are the first ordinances which you shall receive. Oh, almost. And the residue shall be made known in a time to come. According to your labor in my vineyard. Seven. And again I would that ye should learn that he is, that he only is saved who entereth unto the, endureth unto the end. Even so. Amen. Let's try another. Uh, 53. These are all kind of short. Revelation, given through Joseph Smith the prophet, to Newell Knight at Kirtland, Ohio, June 1831. Members of the church in the branch at Thompson, Son, Ohio, were divided by certain questions of church administration and selflessness was manifest among them. Selflessness is a good thing, you know. No self-esteem left. Perfect person. Or at least a perfect sheep. Newell Knight and other elders had come to the prophet asking how to proceed. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 180. Wow, finally getting somewhere in the page count there. But some who would enter the church had broken their covenants. <sighs> Newell Knight to journey to Missouri. A sacred quest, no doubt. One. Behold the sinful Lord. Even Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Quick translation there for you. In case you don't know any Greek. Even he who was crucified for the sins of the world. Behold, verily, verily, I drink the double verilies. That's when you know he's really serious. He needs to say verily, verily. Like very, very. It's very, very good. Very, very bad. I mean, see, an extra very just totally adds variance to it. it seems more severe or more urgent somehow. Anyway, back to verse 2. Sorry. Behold, verily, verily, I say unto you, my servant, do it night. You shall stand fast in the office hereunto. I have appointed you. Three. And if your brethren desire to escape their enemies, let them repent of all their sins and become truly humble before me and contrite as well. Four, and as the covenant which they made unto me has been broken, even so it has become void and of none effect. Cool, maybe I'll get a better covenant next time. <laughs> Five, and woe unto him by whom this offense cometh. Oh, I guess that's not such a good idea then. Because, whoa. Better for them that he had been drowned. It, it had, for it had 
been better for him that he had been drowned in the depth of the sea. Six. But blessed are they who have kept the covenant and observed the commandment, for they shall obtain mercy. lest your enemies come upon you. you. Well, they could have just fled on their own, man. Did, you, did they need you to tell them that? Get out of Dodge. <laughs> You're in danger, dickhead. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Lest your enemies come upon you and take your journey and appoint whom you will to be your leader. Why don't you just take the lead? that they mean as a guide or a scout. And to pay monies for you. Wait, appoint whom you will to be your leader and to pay monies for you. Well, that wouldn't be a scout then, because you pay a scout. They don't pay you. <sighs> I'm miss missing the context here, I think. Eight. And... Thus you shall take your journey into the regions westward, unto the lands of Missouri, unto the borders of the Lamanites. Sounds lame. Uh, nine. <coughs> and after you have done journeying, if you make it back, behold, I sing unto you, seek you a, ye a living like, un, like unto men, because there's probably other kinds, you know. Until I prepare a place for you. So basically, get an honest job until we get your your magical hoodoo hex kit together. Your nifty outfit and funny hat. And a ring for kissing. And again, be patient in tribulation until I come. And behold, I come quickly. Sounds like he's bragging. And my reward is with me. And they who have sought me shall early shall find rest to their souls. Yeah, hurry while supplies last. Even so, amen. And fuck it, let's do 55 as well. Section 55. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet to William B. Phillips at Kirtland, Ohio, June 1831. William H. Phillips and his family had just arrived at the prophet sought of the Lord information concerning him. William H. Phelps designated as one show, called and chosen, directed to be baptized and confirmed. Stamp it. Ordination as an elder to follow. Appointed to assist Oliver Cowdery in literary work for the church. He must have had aptitude. Literature. I almost said fiction. <sighs> Behold, that first one. Behold, thus saith the Lord unto you. My servant, William. Yea, talking to you. Uh, even the Lord of the whole earth is taking time out to talk to one person. Again, it's 
It's just magical. Ah, thou art called and chosen, and after thou hast been baptized by water, which if you do with an eye single to my glory, you shall have a remission of your sins and a reception of the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands. Two, and thou should, and, and then thou shalt be ordained by the hand of my servant Joseph Smith Jr. What an honor. To be an elder unto this church, to preach repentance and remission of sins by way of baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Three, and on whomsoever you shall lay your hands, if they shall, if they are contrite before me, you shall have power to give the Holy Spirit. Four, and again you shall be ordained to assist my servant Oliver Cowdery to do the work of printing and of selecting and writing books for schools in this church that little children in this uh, little children also may receive instruction before me as is pleasing unto me. In other words, childhood indoctrination of tell them nonsense is true and they'll always have that little scratch in the record in their mind where it skips whenever you get near it. But your objective reasoning works peripherally. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Five. And again, verily I say unto you, for this cause you shall take your journey with my servants, Joseph Smith Jr. and Sidney Ridgeton that you may be planted in the land of your inheritance to do this work. And again, let my servant Joseph Coe also take his journey with them. The residue shall be made known hereafter, even as I will. Amen. And that's it for 50, um, 53, 54, 55. I hope you learned something. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I just wanted to try out the strawberry ale. And, um, pretty decent. I'll bet this would be good on the sun. A nice chest right near your lawn chair. So we learned one thing. That was pretty damn good beer. Who'd have thunk? And three sections down. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And stay tuned.